hello everyone all right in this video i just would like to show you how chat gpt may help you in academic writing so let's find out all right so before we begin of course that you know about chat gpt right so this is the new release product from openai.com that they released on november 2022 so it's kind of new pros and cons still there so i just leave it for you to decide which one is good or not but now let's try about this product okay you see from the screen here here is OpenAI. Of course, you know about OpenAI is an AI research and deployment company. They mi their mission is to ensure that artificial general intelligence benefits all humanity. And if you go to OpenAI ChatGPT is optimizing language model for dialogue. So if you ever try, you know, using chatbot so you're probably quite familiar with chat gpt but now you can try try chat gpt here and you need to log in and sign up i already logged in using my email so here are the platform for chat gpt so i'm gonna do a perspective you know let's say i would like to make a perspective paper about robotics in nursing so I'm gonna ask ChatGPT how it reacts or opinion about this topic. So it probably help you in academic writing, right? So let's find out. So I'm gonna ask, what do you think about robotics in nursing? Robotics in nursing has the potential to improve the efficiency and accuracy of certain tasks such as dispensing medication and monitoring vital signs. However, it's important to note that this technology should be used as supplement to retina replacement for the expertise and compassion of human nurses. Hmm? It's quite long paragraph, so it's easy for you to write paragraphs right now. You can just copy and paste about this. Well, let me ask again. Can robots replace nurses in the future it is unlikely that robots will completely replace nurses in the future while robotics technology has advanced significantly in the nurses and cases can assist with certain tasks dispensing medication and monitoring vital signs and later robot will be able to hmm, human touch so here it is unlikely that robots will be able to fully replicate the human touch and emotional intelligence that is crucial in the nursing professions. Additionally, nursing is highly skilled and regulated profession that require high level of education and training, which robots are not currently capable of. That being said, the role of robots in healthcare is likely to continue to evolve and expand and they may be used to augment the work of nurses and other healthcare professionals, allowing them to focus on more complex and high level tasks. Wow. The way it answers is really amazing, yeah? It's really good paragraph copy and paste man <laughs> okay let me ask again is there any competencies at least for nurses to be advanced in technology there is no specific competency at least for nurses to advance technology but there are various initiatives and guidelines that aim to prepare nurses for the use of technology in healthcare. Ooh. It's from American Nurses Associations and some competency you can see here. Knowledge of basic computers, understanding of healthcare information, familiarity with electronic codes, other clinical system, understanding of telehealth and remote care technology, and there are many skills. Wow. Okay. Can robots do caring? Can assist with certain tasks, do caring for patients, dispensing medication, currently capable of providing.
again, uh, it emphasizes that bit, it is unlikely that robots will be able to fully replace the role of human caregivers. All right, that's good answer, you know. It's because some sometimes people ask that can robots replace nurses, but here the answer from the AI, that's interesting. All right. So what question that you would like to ask again? Mm. What kind of robots that we actually need in nursing? In nursing, there are several types of robots. First, medication dispensing robots. Wow, telehealth robots. Hmm. Good, mobile robots. Surgical robots. Social robots. Mm, interesting. See, I got the new idea how to write the perspectives right now. <laughs> it's also important to note that these robots will be used to assist the work of nursing or the health professional not to replace them. See, from the beginning until the end of the chatting, that it answers that robots will not replace the humans or nurses or medical professionals but more likely to assist the work of the nurses here it provides some of the examples of the robot types so with this you know kind of chat so that i can write a perspective one of two pages as simple as that but the weakness from this chat that we cannot find reference so you just need to find a reference by yourself for example that it provides you with the ANA American Nurses Association so you can just try to find it out where is the reference for this and also some of the competencies and also but the idea how it answers you the opinion is really good answer and it really can help you in in your perspective papers well this this is just an example you can try more so i can say this is a really beneficial but oh 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 the lecturers should know about this in case so many students will use this kind of product and they can just easily write your assignments papers or easy to write the papers for publications without you know citation of open ai open ai helps you it can be it can be one of the authors for your papers right all right so maybe just that's all for today hope that it will be helpful for you especially for the students thank you very much